outside. We're finally downtown, and you know, Tim, shopping is my kind of sport. It's a lot less dangerous than that building jumping. But we want to let you know right now that PM Magazine does not endorse building jumping. In fact, because those base jumpers made it look so easy, we don't want you to be confused because it can be awfully fatal. At least two base jumpers have died. And we're going to be back with more of PM Magazine. We're going to take a look at some sloppy neighbors, and we're going to find out a lot more interesting facts about twins. So please join us. Thank you very much. Well, I wonder where Sue is. She's probably on one of her typical shopping binges. Anyway, coming up next on PM Magazine, we have a very interesting story. It deals with twins. You know, twins have a lot more in common than just identical appearances, as we're going to find out, because we're going to take you to a very exciting Twins Day Festival in Twinsburg, Ohio. Twins have come from around the country for the Twins Day Festival, a celebration of twins. This celebration includes a parade, complete with the usual bands, floats, and baton twirlers, and the not-so-usual twins. Twins of all sorts. The reason the festival is held in this place lies in the unique origin of the town's name. The town of Twinsburg was named for Moses and Aaron Wilcox twins and business partners who bought the land that became Twinsburg. They did things together all their lives. They married sisters, had the same number of children, and lived in the same house. Oddly enough, they were both stricken with the same disease, and they died on the same day. Now, they both rest in the same grave. These kinds of baffling parallels can occur with frequency in the lives of identical twins. That is, twins who have resulted from the division of a single fertilized egg. From the time they are born, twins' days are often filled with simultaneous events, marriages, childbirths, even accidents. But we also can feel pain for each other. She fell down the flight of stairs at school and they, ruptured her appendix. They went in to tell my sister they were taking me to the hospital, and she was unconscious on the floor. And I could tell them the exact time they started cutting and the exact time they started sewing up. There was two different types of pain. Lavona and Lavelda Roe Richmond are married to identical twins. Both sets of twins are mirror image twins. One is left-handed, the other right-handed. They have opposite eyeglass prescriptions and even get cavities on opposite sides of their mouths. But we have mistaken our own pictures, and we have walked into a room with mirrors and mistaken our own images. And it's hardly surprising. As babies, twins spend much of their time looking at themselves, so to speak. Emotional parallels emerge at a young age. When one twin shows strong emotion, the other is very likely to follow suit. Parents of twins definitely emphasize their offspring's similarities. Almost without exception, twins will have names that begin with the same letter, wear their hair in the same style, and wear identical clothing. So how do the twins feel about all of this yeah. sameness? It's, it'd be nice to be an individual once in a while. I mean, up until we were in our teens, you know, we didn't think much of it, but then when you're growing up, everybody's got to be an individual and do your own thing. And, that was kind of tough, and being being compared to each other, you know, you're always, oh, why aren't you like your brother? Or, you know, your brother always did it right. Why don't you? You you don't really have your own identity. You're a half of a whole, and that bothers you sometimes. We know the differences in ourselves, and we play the differences down because we enjoy being twins. When we were younger, I think we both resented a little bit being half of two people rather than being one person, but. In the years since we've grown up, I think we appreciate the closeness. Growing up in this exclusive world of two can sometimes create touchy problems in relationships with other people. No, see, when people know me and they don't know that I have a twin, and they'll see Peggy, and she won't recognize them, and she won't know them, and it's kind of embarrassing because then they think, oh, you know, she's a snob, and really, we're not. They just, she just doesn't really know that person. Yeah. When we were growing up in the same school, if someone got mad at my brother, for instance, as what happened one time, they got mad at him and saw me walking down the street and they beat me up instead. They thought it was just as good. 
they said, I kept telling them it wasn't me, and they knew it wasn't it wasn't my brother. And uh, they said, well, so what? You look just like him. Yeah. <laughs> Being an identical twin goes beyond looking alike. The term identical refers only to their genes. And some experts believe there may be a mechanism in their genetic makeup that allows for subtle, even telepathic communication. We telepathicate once in a while. <laughs> And we, that scares us even. Yeah. Um, we, when, when I'll just look at her and just know exactly what she's thinking and say it, and then we both go, oh, my God, you know, like, it's, it's scary sometimes. Well, when we were in high school, the teacher accused us of cheating because we had identical grades. So they separated us by three floors and gave us a test. They said we started at the same time, finished the same time, and got identical answers on the test. Their comment afterwards, being separated by three floors, their comment after was, you got your answer to each other somehow. Uncanny experiences and statistics are relatively common in the lives of twins. For example, the highest proportion of multiple births occur within the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. The destinies of identical twins are directed in countless ways by their duplicate genetic blueprints. But what is the very best thing about having a living mirror of oneself? Oh, no. Friendship. Yeah. Friendship. The bond. She's my best friend. I know I'll always have her. You're never lonely. You're never alone. you always got somebody that is there to look after you. Having each other. <laughs> and having togetherness. Yeah. Always having a friend. <laughs> We're really close. Yeah. Close. My best thought about being a twin or having a twin even is is uh, a very, very dear friend. Somebody that I know when I call, she's there. So while the rest of us work at finding that one special friend who best reflects our attitudes, shares our feelings, and completes our circle of understanding, we can envy those lucky twins. They were born with their best friend. There you are, Sue. Tim, I'll meet you at the bus stop in just a few minutes, okay? Okay, see you there in just a moment. And by the way, I'm happy to tell everybody that I am indeed an identical twin. My identical twin brother is Ted, and this is a picture taken of my four brothers not too long ago. This here is Ralph, and this is my twin brother, Ted. This is me, of course, and this is my brother, Tom. Now, Ted lives in Los Angeles, California with his beautiful wife, Kim. He's an oral surgeon at UCLA Medical Center. In fact, all four of us brothers keep in close contact with each other, not by way of mental telepathy like other twins, but by the telephone. And we're going to be right back with more of PM Magazine in just a second. Please stay with us.